has it been bringing me delight? I'd love to get out some real paper and gel pens so I can write. Should I choose Stardust or Moonlight? And I am not ashamed to say I love those little pens that come in any color I could ever want. I'm gonna write you a letter with my jelly roll pens. They give me that nostalgia from way back when. I'm gonna write you a letter with my jelly roll pens. And I hope you write back. Especially when it has metallic sparkles, blue, purple, or pink. And it'll take some time to reach you, but it is worth it, I think. That time will go by in a blink. So I am not ashamed to say I love those little pens. And I hope you'll smile when a note back when I'm gonna write you a letter with my jelly roll pens and I hope you write back to me again and again I'm gonna write you a letter with my jelly roll pens and give me that nostalgia from way back when I'm gonna write you a letter with my jelly roll pens and I hope you write back to me again and again and again Hello, my name is Lauren Fairweather. I am a singer-songwriter, artist, crafter, maker, content creator. I make a lot of stuff. And you just heard a song that I wrote about jelly roll pens, using jelly roll pens, and I hope you liked it. But I thought that I would take you through a little bit of my songwriting process in case you're interested in learning how I wrote that song. I'm not gonna go too in depth, but I figured I'd share with you a couple things that help me when I'm writing songs. First thing to mention is actually before I started putting pen to paper, I was in my car driving around and the chorus for this song just kind of popped into my head. So as soon as I was able to stop the car, I actually recorded on my phone a little voice memo of the song, which was very helpful. I recommend doing that because I find when I'm writing songs, I forget what they sound like. If I don't write down the lyrics, I'm gonna forget the lyrics. So once I get home and I have time to actually sit down and write the song, I get myself some paper and I usually find that the bigger the paper, the better for songwriting, at least for me. Um, I like having a lot of space on the page to kind of spread out because a lot of times, as you will see, I don't just write the lyrics. I will come up with rhymes and I'll list them next to it to kind of plan what I want the next part to be or to fix a line that I don't like. I will give myself little notes. Um, I'll write chords and then cross them out and change them. And so having a lot of space in the margins and all around where I'm writing the lyrics is really helpful for me. I was using a different color for the chords than I was from the words. It's nice to look at, but also it makes it a little easier for me to see. So that actually was something I stumbled upon while I was making this video that I thought might actually be something I will do more in the future. I also find, and I don't know if this is just me, but the smaller, the finer the pen that I'm using, the neater my handwriting looks. So that is a tip for you. Um, I only use thicker pens on titles or drawing things like these little sparkles in the corners. The most common question I get about songwriting is whether I start with the lyrics first or start with the melody first or start with the chords first. And it's all kind of a combination. It depends on how I'm feeling. It depends on which part I like the best. I knew what the chorus was going to sound like. And then so I would try to find a verse that sounded like it would work that would transition nicely into the chorus. I might be improvising and find a chord progression that I really like, but maybe I didn't like the melody. So I'll go back, write down that chord progression, play it again, and try and sing a different melody on top until I find all of the pieces that I like and put them all together. One really helpful piece of advice that someone once gave me was when I get stuck, to write a bad song first. So one thing that I like to do is I will just write, you know, terrible random lyrics, whatever pops into my head first, 
to kind of give me something to sing while I'm writing the melody. And then uh, once I figure out the melody, I go back and I put in better lyrics um, or vice versa. Maybe I have some really great lyrics and I just come up with a really terrible melody just to get myself started. It's easier to go from something bad and make it better than it is to just kind of pull something good right out of thin air. A lot of it's practice too. Um, I've been writing songs and releasing them seriously for about 16 years now. So if you're not happy with what you're writing when you first start out, don't worry. You know, you've gotten one song under your belt, you can try another one and they might be better the next time, who knows. But if it's something you enjoy doing and it's something you wanna learn and improve on, just keep trying. I hope that was helpful. I hope it's inspiring to you. Um, even if you don't want to go out and write a song, I hope you enjoy listening to mine and uh, I hope you're having a really good day. If you liked this video and you want to find more of my content, you can follow me on social media at Lauren Fair WX and you can also find my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Lauren Fairweather. Thanks for having me. Bye.